the commercial supersonic technology program manager Peter Kuhn, and also quiet supersonic technology project manager David Requine at the NASA Langley Research Center. Explain how advances in design could help reduce the impact of sonic boom. NASA has been working for decades essentially on looking at uh, technologies to take the boom out of boom. We'd like to have sonic thump or just sonic sound. And the idea is to design the airplane so that the shock waves that, that are produced in supersonic flight are arranged in such a way that you don't have a boom. You have a, uh, just kind of a general gradual pressure rise which produces a quiet sound. So there are a number of challenges associated with supersonic travel in general. Uh, we want the airplanes to be environmentally friendly, so we want them to be quiet around the airport, and we also want them to have low emissions. NASA has worked a number of technologies which could reduce the noise of sonic boom. Right now we're doing the preliminary design, we call that activity Quest for quiet supersonic technology. So we've tested them in wind tunnels, but now the next phase is to take the technologies and test them in flight. So to do that, we're building an X-plane design and the eventual low-boom flight demonstration aircraft that represents the boom of a larger airplane. The idea is to prove the technology, uh, show how robust it is in, in a variety of atmospheric conditions, but ultimately to prove that the sound that's created is acceptable to people on the ground. NASA is conducting supersonic research with a lot of different organizations around the country. But primarily our role is, you know, getting the data for supersonic flight. One of the primary things we have to do initially is get the atmospheric data so we understand the effect of the atmosphere, real atmosphere, on the sonic boom. But then the real data for regulatory change required is just really taking measurements on the ground and then doing surveys of the population to see what the annoyance of those sonic, much quieter sonic booms are. It should sound like a thump, so it could be that people don't even notice the sonic boom, and that's what we want to that's really the, the data that we're talking about for regulatory change. So supersonics uh, is kind of been a dream for a long time. Cut your travel time in half. It's a good industry for the U.S. to be getting into. As subsonic commercial airplanes are being built worldwide now. Uh, we need some new markets, some new, new vehicles to uh, maintain our leadership in uh, commercial aviation. Earth actually makes information easier and subscribe to be updated. Thanks for being a part of this great generation. One love keeps us together as one.